I would just say, without getting into uh, what other nations are providing, that they have received additional um, platforms and parts to be able to uh, to be able to increase their fleet size, their aircraft fleet size. We certainly have helped with the with the transshipment of some additional spare parts uh, that have helped with their aircraft needs, but we have not transported whole aircraft. We've sent thousands of anti-armor and anti-missile helicopters, drones, grenade launchers, machine guns, rifles, radar systems, more than 50 million rounds of ammunition had already been sent. The United States alone has provided 10 anti-armor systems for every one Russian tank that's in Ukraine, a 10 to 1 ratio. We're sharing and will continue to share significant timely intelligence with Ukraine to help defend them against Russian aggression. And on top of this, these direct contributions from the United States, we're facilitating, we're the outfit facilitating the significant flow of weapons and systems to Ukraine from other allies and partners around the world like the S-300 long-range anti-aircraft systems that Slovakia recently transferred to Ukraine. We are getting them in there. We won't always be able to advertise everything we, uh, that our partners are doing to support Ukraine and fight for freedom, but to modernize Teddy Roosevelt's famous advice, sometimes we will speak softly and carry a large javelin because we're sending a lot of those in as well. But we have not transported whole aircraft.